Hello, Libra. We're going to be using the Animal Totem Tarot today. And after the pre-shuffle, we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom. Just a quick message before I go ahead and shuffle some more in front of you. The Four of Pentacles shows us that hard work can and does pay off. And that your financial goals can be achieved if you commit to saving or, pardon the pun, squirrel your money away. Just remember that money itself is nothing more than an energy and it needs to flow. There needs to be a give and take, not just a take and hide. Just as the forgotten nuts become useless to the squirrel, material things that never bring you any joy are not worth having. You are seeing the financial results of all you have chased after, but now is not the time to keep chasing. Instead, take some money from your stash and start looking for ways to invest back into your business so that it can continue to grow. They're also saying you've earned some pampering and your body is in need of it. All of that tension in your muscles needs to be released in a productive, healthy way. Let go, unwind, and your body and your mind will thank you later. Which is interesting because I brought out Calm the Chaos cards. And at the top, we have breathe fresh air. So maybe this weekend, you guys could get out to a park if the weather's good or some type of nature's green space, wherever you are. This looks definitely talking about a green nature space, right? Yesterday, it was gorgeous and I was buy some water and I took my sandals off and I grounded barefoot on the grass. It was so good. We're going to need to be grounding ourselves, breathing in fresh air. Depending on where you live in the U.S., How fresh that air is well for those of us that live in the United anywhere in the world actually anywhere in the world the situation is the hanged man with the hierophant you have somebody of it's like higher authority here holding back Honey is significant too. I think these are called honey pot ants. Yep, the honey pot ant. Has anyone ever told you that you overthink things? Now's not the time to be stubborn or try to impose your way of thinking. Instead, surrender to it. Let it just be and get your head out of the game. That's so interesting because I posted that Libra meme today on the community board. It shows Kim Kardashian, who is a Libra as well. Um, it's just a, a meme about thinking and overthinking and how much we think, Libra. <laughs> Notice how the hanged man has his heart above his head. This is because now is a time to feel, not think. Libra. 
Move into the feeling state of being and give that brain of yours a rest. <laughs> wow. The hanged man teaches you more about your heart than your head. Your head may very well be your worst enemy right now. Thinking and daydreaming about things that are not in alignment with the direction you truly want to take. Go back to the place of love. Open up your heart chakra. Allow yourself to feel. Feel all of it. Even the parts that hurt. And love unconditionally anyway. Interesting. Inversion poses in yoga are used to place the heart above the mind. In doing so, you allow better blood and energy flow throughout your body. This in turn assists the body in healing, regenerating, and giving one the chance to clear one's mind. And did you hear my, it was like, in I heard like a shake. It's a shake. What that is happening right now? A snake shedding. It's old skin. I feel like Libra. I feel like you're shedding these old aspects and keeping the best. And working on the best parts of you. This is in turn regenerating and giving one the chance to clear one's mind. Find a way today to get above your head and release your body from the restrictions the mind has placed upon it. And the Hierophant can be authoritative. Hmm. But that was a message for some of you that there is someone definitely could be a Taurus, could not, could be a Pisces, could not. But um, they're, they're definitely holding back right now. See, I told you that's so wild. The Knight of Wands in reverse. This is where not to focus. Try not to worry about what's not occurring. Pretty sure this is the ostrich. Look how his body, his heart, is above his head in this card as well. That's wild. The Knight of Wands is usually in and out. If something is, it's like you're going to have to go with that motion, Libra. Not the motion of the ocean. Speaking of water, King of Cups at the bottom. If you have a uh, an in and out King of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, don't concern yourself right now with that. Instead, concern yourself with focus on the magician. You have all the tools you need, Libra. Let's read it. With the five of pentacles at the bottom. This shows animals that were trapped for their fur.
You see how dodgy the fox is? You see how fast and swift? You've manifested yourself, or you're about to, if 1010 on the clock. Ah, I haven't seen that in a while. 1010 on the clock, Libra Land. You have brought yourself out of this, you've manifested yourself out of lack. Possibly out of poverty, or you are manifesting yourself out of this energy. I also feel like this, these energies that were caught up, some, someone that's done some type of magic that was trying to get you for your fur, Libra, for your gifts, for what you have to offer. For your light, the sun card behind that. Yep, to what you have to offer, the world card behind that. The secret knowledge you're learning about and that you possess, the high priestess behind that. Your memory, the three of swords, how far you've come, the lost comrades is what I just heard. This elephant is at a grave site of another elephant. Because just like humans, they mourn the loss of a fellow elephant, a friend, a family, you know, you haven't forgotten. You'll never forget elephants. That's so crazy. The memory of an elephant. They never, they don't forget. Wow. Let's read the magician. I got chills. That's pretty wild because this magician card is in the snow. <laughs> Number one. Whenever it seems like there is nothing available to you, look again. Expand your awareness further than what you can see, feel, and touch. Stop talking and listen. There is an undercurrent of abundance that flows through everything and everyone. But sometimes you have to stop doing what you are doing in order to truly tap into the magic of what is around you. No matter what the outer world looks like, both the fox and the magician know there is more available to them from the world they live in than what the physical eye can see. Manifestation. In the deep winter forests, there would appear to be very little to nourish a grown fox. Everything is covered in deep snow, yet it is what cannot be seen that feeds the hungry fox. Message spirit come through. By tapping into his expanded senses, the fox is able to hear movement deep under the snowpack. And with one swift movement, he can propel himself into the air. He does this with enough force that when he lands, he nabs himself a nice bite to eat, fresh from under the deep, compacted snow. The magician always refines the tools and skills he already has. He knows just how important it is to keep polishing his magic. For just like the fox, the magician knows that the real magic happens in the unseen. Much like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Magic, Libra. Did you? I hope the camera picked that up. The candle just popped. It's like magic. Your manifestation abilities. Wow. The lovers, to clarify the three of swords. You will not forget how far you have come. I heard once you get where you want to go, once you get where you're going, Libra, 
your loved ones in spirit, those people that have crossed over, family, friends. They know you honor their memory. And they know you'll never forget. And they know how deep, or how deep is your love. Wow, the lover's card. This is emotional. They love you. Look at the swans, the black and white swan. With the heart. They're on the other side. Sending you their love. That, that needed to be said. And that's what I'm reading from this Three of Swords, this Three of Swords, and this Lovers. Let's pull an aging of love. Whoa, I just saw something fly out of my peripheral left eye. Out of the peripheral of my left eye. It was above my head. Fly high. Candle just popped again. One card, this one. The creative desire, the number one card. Again, that magician magi energy. And look at the little heart in the middle. I cannot. He reminds me of a dragon seahorse a fiery dragon seahorse full of love 17 17 on the clock the present moment i don't think i've ever seen this aging card number 61 look at that the clock again with nature the leaves Wow, they have them like trees, but they're just a leaf, a leaf. That's so cool. The present moment. The creative desire and the present moment. Eastern tradition sees desire as the beginning of the universe. This card is an invitation to not complicate life. Accept desire. Every repression will have you fighting against yourself. And to reach full realization, you need all your strength. The card indicates that you are in tune with the creative power of the universe. Don't doubt yourself. Use the t use your time wisely, I just heard. Oh, look what's behind that. She reminds me of Venus. Receptivity. Aphrodite. 61, the present moment. The hexagram offers the image of a free heart. Able to perceive the truth and to welcome it within itself. 1919 on the clock. I just had a timer go off. The oracle is an invitation to immerse oneself in one's own present truth. To live in the here and now. Time in which the whole of existence dwells. Double confirmation. I'll try to get some fresh air this weekend. Ground that energy, Libra. Let's go ahead and pull a Calm the Chaos card. And then we'll get 
one goddess card. Goddess Oracle. Calm the chaos. One card for Libra, please. One card for Libra, please. Thank you. Today is a new day. Let's go. Today is a new day, Libra. Every day is a new opportunity to reset, renew, and recalibrate. No matter how you were feeling or what happened the day before, today you get to begin again. This week, use the sun as a symbol of strength. Pick a day where you can get up early to watch the sunrise. Wake up while it's still dark. Find a comfy place to watch the sun make its journey over the horizon. Like the sun, you too can embrace the day with light and energy. Gosh, Libra. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. And I'm feeling good. One card. Libra. Amir Tazu. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that. Amira Tazu. The sun goddess of Japan. Whoa, the sun again. Will help you overcome fears this day with her gentle blessings. She brings light and hope to the places that are dim and shadowy and replaces fear with understanding. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Libra. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for your continued support. Until next time, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.